Joe and I are heading off to Vancouver Island on an adventure to do a seven day survival challenge. A beautiful bounty of wild gourmet mushrooms. Shrimp on the go. I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. So, day six on our island adventure. See what we're up to today, I guess. Um, we will find something to do. Trust me. So I'm going to uh, hike, <coughs> hike out to this uh, point here and do some shore fishing. I want to bring some water with me though. So a little trick about bringing some water is this uh, bull kelp. They're hollow. Just cut the cut it here. And I got a good water container. They're not poisonous, so and there's my canteen. I could just bring the water container, but then it wouldn't be showing you another trick. Let's go catch some fish. Joe's winning. 10 to 7. I figure I'll, he's off looking for mushrooms. I'll throw a line offshore there. See if I can't catch up a bit. And then if I want to seal this, I can just take a round stick, semi-tight. Now it won't leak. <laughs> Gotta know these simple little tricks are the fun ones. This stuff is really slippery. You gotta be careful. See if I can get down here without killing myself. Got a little wet. Whew. Come on, fish. I gotta catch Joe, man. Old Joe. That hike made me uh, a little hot. Yeah, this stuff is very slippery. When you're out doing stuff by yourself, you've got to be careful. You get injured and you're by yourself. That's not good. Oh, look at that. Did you see that blooper? <laughs> well, I caught something. It was my coat. Better throw it further away. That's funny. At least it wasn't someone's eye. The things that happen in fishing, hey? The water's coming up too, so I probably won't be able to stay here too long. That's better. Finn and I are going up the hill to look for some mushrooms. Hey Finn, come here. Oh, he's gone to see Greg, I guess. And I'm going to hike up here and see if I can find any more golden chanterelles. They were starting to pop in this region. Hope we find the mother load. Finn, are we going to find some mushrooms this way? Okay, let's go this way. No, this way. Good boy. Where are they? Find them. Golden chanterelles. Finn found these ones first. Some nice winter chanterelles. And there's also a few more right there. He's always running ahead, so it's not fair. But he's a, got a great mountain figure, this dog. 
puts on the miles and loves every minute of it. Well, that was a nice little patch. We only picked the big ones. And perfect condition. It's been very dry here, so you're not finding a abundance of mushrooms, but the ones you find are still very good. And uh, if you pick a couple varieties, you'll have enough for a meal quickly. Yesterday I came up here for about an hour. I picked chicken of the woods, wood hedgehog, winter chanterelles, and golden chanterelles. And I want to chef up some breakfast. This will be a nice addition. And there's Finn. He's searching. He never stops. Did you find anything, Finn? It's a beauty. There's just so much chicken of the woods up here. It's amazing. Look at this one. It's perfect. That's the best shape one I've found so far. So perfect and fresh. It's amazing. I think something was nibbling on it over here. This is the best quality chicken of woods you can find right here. You see how that, it's all nice and tender. It won't be chewy. The texture will just be amazing. And the color in the pan, it's really hard to beat. You can see the moisture coming out of it right now. It's so fresh. Finn's having a blast. He's cruising, looking for more mushrooms, trying to knock over the camera. <laughs> uh, Great dog, I'll tell you, it's been an awesome time hanging out with him too. That's a slug eating a chicken of the woods, folks. Very cool. Just chowing down. That's going to be me in about an hour here once I get back to camp. <laughs> I found lots of chicken of the woods this morning. They're everywhere in here. I can't believe it. I'm shaking so much because I'm hiking, but... Oh my, I just looked up and look at this. There's winter chanterelles. And if you look over there, some of the biggest chicken in the woods are peeking out at me. So like I was saying, this place is full of them. If you were starving, you could eat those for days. Like that has to be like two or three pounds of mushroom right there. And I'm not even gonna touch it. I don't, uh, I don't have no need for it we're only going to pick what we're going to eat and if i need some tomorrow i can just hike up here and i know where they are let's go finn want to find some more mushrooms hey let's give her i just stepped down from these ones up here and looked behind this log i picked the ones on the other side or no that was where the slug was on the other side and there's even more so you could pick, you know, 30, 40 pounds of chicken of the woods in here. And all these ones up here are pretty, pretty fresh. You'd want to take like the outside rim of them because once you get closer to the stem, they're a little bit woody, but they're awesome. Finn and I found some golden chanterelles, just a few of them. They're just little guys. So they're, you need a lot of them to make a meal. But we're very thankful for them. The rainforest is awesome, eh, Finn? The best part is hiking through it, right? Need some water? We're gonna walk back. Look at that, eh? If that isn't a movie star, I don't know what is. Finn, you do the best poses. Let's go get you some water, okay? Let's get some water. Finn found some more. A few more little guys. Another nice little patch. Greg is out doing a bit of fishing from shore there. Imagine he hopes to catch a lingcod or a, or a nice rockfish or something. And if you look in my little tin here, I've got winter chanterelles, golden chanterelles, and some very fresh chicken of the woods. You ready to go, Finn? Let's go see Dad, eh? Let's go. This way. 
sure peaceful here. Oh, I think I'm getting a bite. Something's happening. I think I got one. Not even out that far. I think I got one. Ah, feels pretty small. Oh yeah, it's just a minnow. It's another one of those rock fish. Just a little guy. It'll look better if I put him in front of the lens. But they still, they can prick you pretty good. So you gotta watch. Just a little guy. So that would be eight for me to 10. I don't know, I, guess, I don't think we're catching fish we don't keep, this is the problem. I gotta try to let this guy go. Try to hold it in the camera. But the thing is, like I say, you gotta be careful. They really have spines on them and they like to flip and try to hit you with them. Oh, he got off, good. There he goes, he got off on his own. And I was looking at that and I think that was a baby lingcod. That's what I was trying to check there for a second. And he flipped off and got away, so that's good. I mean, I wasn't gonna keep something that size. He was only, you seen him. You watch the videos. Anyway, he got away, that's good. But I think it was a lingcod. Ben and I had an awesome morning of foraging. We still have a bit in our tin. And those are some of the beautiful chicken of the woods, winter chanterelles, and a few golden chanterelles. A beautiful bounty of wild gourmet mushrooms from the west coast of Canada. And that took us about an hour to find those. Did you have fun? Is it time to go get dad? Let's go get dad. I pulled in to drain the boat and there's an eagle up there. You can see him. Where is he? And it's a bald eagle. And there's the other one. They're chasing each other and one ended up in the water. It's unbelievable. I've never seen nothing like it. I was trying to get the camera out, but it was swimming in from right out there. It landed in the water. So, one of those moments where you wish that was the guy that chased him down up there. And I don't know what's going on here, but they're not happy he's around. I thought it was a young eagle learning how to fly, but it's definitely not. And there they are up there. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. Those two characters right up there made another eagle swim right to those rocks right here. Amazing how fast that eagle, the other eagle that got chased down here could swim to shore. It's about 30 feet swimming to shore and he swam right to shore. So that's something you gotta keep in mind when you're hiking the shores around the island here the tide came in now I'm kind of stranded but Joe's gonna come with a boat and pick me up because the tide came up now I just got a cliff here <laughs> that I can't walk around unless I try to climb the cliff and go up and around so oh well he's got the boat right there it'll all go good <laughs> and this stuff is so slippery the seaweed along the, the shore here it's uh, very slippery. You gotta be careful. Finn's peeking around the corner there. He's all worried about me, I think. I gotta go rescue Greg. I'll be re needing rescuing next. <laughs> It's okay, Finn. I'm coming. You can't come here unless you swim, so you stay there. 
I'll be okay. I know you're worried about me. I worried about you the day I left you on the island too. I'm going to need rescuing now. I just sucked the rope up in the prop. <laughs> I'm not joking. We got porpoises coming right at us here. You can hear them breathing. There's a bait ball going on out there. Birds are going crazy. Such an incredible little spot here. Lots and lots and lots of wildlife. Just trolling along here. And there's been a whale breaching. We're not breaching, but coming up every few minutes right in this bay ahead of me. Pretty sure it's a gray whale. It's about three or four hundred feet deep right here where we are. They can disappear pretty darn quick. Giant jellyfish. Amazing creature. The tentacles gotta be about six feet long. They just swim effortlessly. Look at that. It's a beautiful flower. He's definitely feeding, eh? There's a bait ball or something. Yeah, there he goes. That looks more like a humpback, that one. Yeah, so hard to tell, eh? Look at that one, right up there. Right there. He's doing the tail slap. Right up there by those boats. See him? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's blowing too up there. That's awesome. That's why those boats are hanging out up there watching them. Unbelievable the amount of animals here, Greg. I can't believe it. Like, definitely gonna be back. Oh yeah, they're swimming with our boat. That's awesome, did you just see that? Oh, 
there's the whale. Amazing, isn't it? There he's blowing again. Like there's gotta be a few hundred whales in this area, right? I think they got to be 2,000 pounds, okay? Like this big guy right here has got to be 2,000 pounds. Look at the hair and man, that's awesome. sound like a lion. Oh, it's amazing how they growl. <laughs> Have you ever seen an animal make more noise? They just always, they don't ever stop. I love them. They remind me of myself, just never by talking. <laughs> Funny how they're all different colors, eh? What do you think, Greg, of the trip so far? Well, so far it's been great. Yeah. We haven't gone hungry. That's right. It's been a great time. We're getting stuff. Of course, I don't like the idea that you got ten fish and I got seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, here they all go. They don't like it either. <laughs> They're like, Joe can't beat us. <laughs> we better go get some fish. Did you hear that? <laughs> Just slide in there like nothing. Eh? Oh, they're coming to say hi. Look. Look at this one. Yeah, he is just checking us out. There's the black bird, center of the screen with the red beaks. Not sure what they are, but they look cool. So day six, we had a pretty awesome day, Joe and I. Very eventful as well, because it's just so nice being here on the island. And uh, it's so peaceful at night. Just been awesome so far. So hope you guys are enjoying the adventure. It's not quite over, but it probably is our last night on the island. This is night six. Well, actually, I said it's night six, but we ended up spending one night uh, on the main island 
because of the storm. So actually it's only been five nights on the island, but uh, six days, seven days tomorrow, but one night we did spend on the other side waiting for daylight to come and rescue old Finn. So this is day seven of our island adventure. I'm gonna go and uh, pick some uh, chicken of the woods. We have some chanterelle still and a bit of lingcod and cook up a breakfast. And uh, not a lot to do really today. I think we're gonna go maybe check the prawn trap and see if we can find some whales again. Um, every day has been an adventure here though, it really has. But got to have something to eat and then get on with our day. Nice winter chanterelles. Make sure there's no needles in them. I'm going to throw a chunk of cod in here too. Oh yeah. Crazy, eh? What kind big, is he? Big bubble butt. Look at that. That thing was just crawling up my neck. Man. Oh that's boy, crazy. I hope he didn't bite you. They're deadly. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a nice looking color. Hope I didn't hurt him. No, I don't think so. Almost looks like one of his legs is a bit lame, but. stuff like that they'll use, eh? Greg told me this guy's poisonous. I'm not sure, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> See you later, little man. Just released him onto this tree, and he's just hunkered down. Camouflage like a piece of lichen almost. Very cool. Sorry if I'm shaking. He scared me. Well, Greg was trying to retrieve our boat. We've had a really, really high tide. It must be almost the full moon. These rocks are so slippery. It was the log. Oh, was it the log? Yeah. Log. Yeah. There's no way to get away from sliding in. So well, now I'm wet anyway. Okay, well, Whew. it's deeper there. <laughs> okay, Joe, I will send the boat to you. Thanks, Greg. You're a lifesaver, buddy. Huh? You're a lifesaver. Who's your favorite YouTuber, Joe? <laughs> Greg Ovens. Number one, Canadian YouTuber of the year. Most people usually wear a pair of waders, Greg, when they go in like that. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. you the whole time, I hope. Yeah, I got most of it. What do you mean most of it? I hope you got all of it. Or did I go in for nothing? I didn't catch the uh, slipping on the log. No, but. Well, I wasn't ready for that either. That's how you do it on Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. YouTuber extraordinaire. <laughs> We're gonna go trekking through the woods and try and find some mushrooms. Finn's already excited. He's running back and forth. And uh, try not get eaten by the mosquitoes. They've been out this morning a little bit. And have a little bit of fun up there getting their exercise. for some uh, sulfur shelf. Joe found some and I'm gonna try to find them again and uh, cook those up to go with my halibut. I said halibut. <laughs> Ling pod. Getting caught in halibut. Joe's off. Looking for the sulfur shelf that he found yesterday he told me about. But I don't think he really knows where they are because he hasn't found them yet. Hey Joe! Where are you gonna run to now?
Let's go, Finn. Nice place, eh? It's incredible. The rainforest is something special, it really is. That's not as good at eating, is it, Joe? We, really, eh? You know what? In my opinion, they're all great as long as they haven't become soggy, which has been way too dry for that. Right? But personally, that's great eating. Right in there. In that hole. That's awesome. It's a nice one, eh? Some elevation. <laughs> Even fins wore out. Such a hike. That one looks pretty good there. I like this guy back here. As far as the video goes, that's pretty neat. Yeah, that looks pretty good, Greg. See how it's wet? Yeah, that looks good. I'd say that whole thing is really good. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Is that okay? And then what you do is you cut it here. Mm -hmm. And eat the top. And just eat the top, yeah. I. Uh, we should maybe leave some. So yeah. It doesn't kill the plant. Huh? No, exactly. Just take what we need and... Well, we can find more. Yeah, exactly. Leave some for seed. Yeah, and the mycelium is in the wood on this one, so it uh, it does its thing and spores out, but the mushroom will grow here probably for 10 years. This will make a good beard too. <laughs> or Spock ears. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll that one, yeah, he looks pretty rough, eh? Yeah, not as Look at the water pouring out of it, how fresh it is now. Oh, Isn't yeah. that amazing? Uh -huh. That's how fresh this chicken of the woods is. It actually is leaking water, water right out of it. Because That's incredible. It. Wow. So we'll squeeze the water out of it. Yeah. <clears throat> so perfect, eh? It matches his beard. Hey, yeah. <clears throat> so these uh, chicken of the woods or sulfur shelf, very fresh. Joe says some buffalo style chicken of the woods. Hey, eh? I look like Fowler. 
<laughs> We're back at the camp now. My, I'm sweating a bit. It was quite the climb through there. The tide is up and we are uh, going to go out and check our prawn trap and see what we can find. Tell them what keeps happening to our pods. Both of our shrimp pods got stolen. People are stealing our shrimp pods. We struck out on those. Oh, we got a oh. few shrimp, quite a few. Yeah, so we got some shrimp, that's all right. We should have just sat our shrimp pod over here. Wow, we didn't know people were going to steal them. Oh, that's crazy, eh? Well, may as well throw her back down for the night. Yeah. I can't believe our crab pot's doing that. <laughs> our shrimp pot. Well, they're gone. What do you do when people steal your uh, stuff? I believe it's very bad for them to steal anybody's fishing gear or hunting gear. You remember that. Quite a few, Greg. Yeah, it's good. Like that will be a good snack. Well, we can count them after if you want. <laughs> well, that'll be a frying pan full. A small frying pan. <laughs> I always bring a small frying pan, and then the fish look bigger. <laughs> Hey, there's one right in the mouth. <laughs> Can we float a little bit? I think so, eh? That's pretty good. So, uh, we decided um, to spend another night. This is day seven, but we decided to spend tonight here as well. Um, finish up our fish and our mushrooms. Just, uh, it's hard to want to leave an area like this. It's so scenic. We just can't get our fill of, of this place. It's so beautiful. Uh, the whales and the sea lions. and We're eating really well with all the mushrooms and the fish and the shrimp. So, still some adventure to come. So, good news. We just found out, actually, that we can have a fire. The ban has been lifted. So. We get one night to sit around a fire before we leave. This is awesome. So we may as well cook on the fire too. Right on, man. I didn't bring a ferro rod. Uh, so, a little windy. Fire ban's been on so long, it's like I forgot how to build a fire. Walk the wind. That should work. Thank goodness we can have a fire.
Thing well, it's going. good that we uh, spent another night because now we can have a fire finally. So we get one night with a fire. Right on, man. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, I had a little trouble, Joel, but she was... Uh, I never seem to give up, right? Well, you can't give up, okay. or you won't have a fire. So, hee-haw! And since we can have a fire, we I may as well have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Buttered shrimp on the go. So nice to be able to have a campfire. Sure makes the camping feel like camping when you're allowed to have a campfire. So, day eight in actuality. Have some coffee and um, or break down camp. It'll take a little bit of time, but gonna head to the mainland. Main island, anyway. But it's been an exciting trip. Lots of adventure we had. It was awesome. You ready to go, Finn? Let's go. Pull the last pot of the trip. Maybe we got some shrimp or some crab or something in it. There was nothing in it. So I hope you enjoyed um the seven day uh, adventure here on the island. One more treat for you, I'm gonna introduce you to somebody that I'm sure most of you remember from the Alone Show. Uh, we're gonna go out and collect some of their crab traps and uh, I'll show you in a second. I'll keep it a suspense until you see who I'm talking about. But it's been an exciting uh, eight days on the island. Hey camera. <laughs> <laughs> we got Tyson, Megan's husband here. Hey, Greg. Good buddy. It's good to see him again. It's been a couple of years and uh, I like to come visit. And, uh, we like Megan. Hey, Greg. <laughs> My, uh, she was on Alone Season 3, you'll remember, and did awesome. 70, was it 73 days? Oh, come on. It was 78 days. Was it? <laughs> it actually was, was, yeah. Okay, 78 days. I got yeah, it The hardest were those last five days, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, no doubt, eh? Yeah. We're going to go out and pull some crab traps that uh, Tyson and Megan have had down for a few days. And they might even uh, give me one, because we didn't catch any Dungeness on this trip. So they're calling the boat Edna. This is Tyson and Megan's boat. Yeah, that's a beauty. Uh, kind of an ending to the seven day uh, adventure, but it's nice to visit with old friends. Here. Man alive, you'd have beaten me. Oh, <laughs> Beautiful. We just had a surface hit of a big, big. Sun. Oh, nice. There's your halibut, sir. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Okay, folks, so 
it's time for us to head back home. I'm going to say goodbye to my buddy Tyson and Cry. This is Cry. Bye. And Bye. Angus. <laughs> and Bye, Megan. Greg. Slap me five. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys all next time. Next year, we're going to try to make a habit of getting down to visit these folks. Fantastic family. Right on. And the food was amazing. Uh, can't and Joe outfished me, you guys. I, I can't believe it. I don't know. I slipped up. I, I don't know. One fish, you know. What's that? I think it worked out to be one fish. Well, it was close, but if you count them up, you were at 10, I was at 7. Last one was 2. Uh, I think it's 8. To, well, I'll just do 8. 8 to 9? No, no, because we, if we count the fish from the last time. Yeah. Okay, you were already at 10 and I was at 7. So, 8, 9. I ended up with 10. Yeah. And then you had two more? Two more. Yeah, that's So, right. Joe beat me by two fish on this adventure. Just by that much. <laughs> but, I did get out of it. Uh, okay. Pound for pound, he beat me. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Just got back from our island adventure, and I brought some chicken of the woods back. Greg gave me some of this awesome hot sauce, Fowler's Chipotle hot sauce. We're going to make Buffalo style chicken of the woods today. Throw the garlic in there. Throw the chicken of the woods in there. Deglaze the pan with just a splash of white wine. On with the lid. Hot sauce here. Drizzle a little bit on there. So that's pretty well done. We'll turn it off and give it a try. Beautiful. You should smell that. Buffalo chicken, buffalo style chicken of the woods. Drizzle a little tiny bit of this on just to make sure we got enough heat. Buffalo style chicken of the woods. Check it out. Oh man, that's the ticket.